Imagine giving your life to someone, yeah? Like giving yourself everything, like giving you to that person. Obviously, you guys, you seen what I go and what's going on. I just feel betrayed, like on a different level. Like Nikia, yeah, you I gave you my life. I gave you everything. I gave you my love. I gave you, I gave you everything like I could possibly give to you. And remember, I know you, like I know you. So when I'm watching the video on here, I'm seeing like, you know, I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching the whole re rehearsed thing that you've done. To be honest, I'm, do you know what? I'm not even angry at Nikia. I'm disappointed. I am so, so, so disappointed. Like, <laughs> betrayed on a different level. Mental health. Listen, you can't be throwing you can't you can't be throwing that around, bro. Mental health. Come on, man. Please, my life. Listen, Nikia, there's so many young black boys that are struggling with mental health out here. The mental health thing is a big, big problem in the black community. It's very pushed under the carpet kind of thing. Let's not talk about it. Imagine I was suffering with mental mental illness, disorder, whatever, yeah? Imagine I was suffering with mental problems, really, which I'm not. What would I do right now? <laughs> Rural, rap, if I was suffering with mental stuff, Nikita, yeah, what would I do right now? Like, would, 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 it, would this lead me to kill myself? With the amount of DMs and messages and hate messages I'm getting now from people? If I wasn't, if I never came from where I came from, remember, I ain't come from no flipping roses and daffodils. I come from fucking concrete and barbed wire. You feel me? I come, I come from the road. Simple, yes. I am coming from, I am, a, yes, I come from that life. That old life. I had changed my life around. But she said she was trying to help you, bro. Help me where? Let me be real with you. You see when shit hits the fan, you will know who's truly there for you. I'm talking about when you feel like the world's crashing around you. I got my people around me, you know. I got my dogs. I got I got my, my, my friends. I got my family. Yeah? But let me be real with you, yeah. You see when shit hits the fan, you will see those people, those the, the closest people to you. The, listen, all the people out there, please listen to me, you know, because this shit's real. The closest people to you will hurt you. I never sign up for this bullshit, man. As soon as I saw all of the stuff here, I was like, all right, cool. Do you know what? I need to make a video. I need to clear this shit up. God, no, no, I'll keep it here. Oh. I said, I need to clear this stuff up. For you to do that, you know that I work with young people. You know I work with young gang members, youths on the fringes of the crime, whatever. You know, I, the amount of people that I've helped over the years, I've given my life. I've given myself. I've been so selfless over the years. What have you done? What have you done? Like I said, I'm not angry, I'm disappointed more than anything. I gave you my life. I gave you me. I've never cheated on that girl. I've never cheated on that girl once. I treated that girl like a queen. I'm tired, like I'm so tired. I do not, I, I don't even respond to stuff. And you got me coming on YouTube explaining things. Come on, man. Like, don't get me wrong, yeah? I was gonna do a video about the Little Mix thing, you know? Like, I was gonna, there's two, come on, there's always two sides to the story. Everyone knows the story, everyone knows the real shit that happened. I thrive with attention, but you're the one who's coming on thingy, coming on YouTube doing a sob story, talk about you care about my mental, you don't care about me, you never love me. Like, I don't even know what you're trying to do to my life now. What do you want me to do, go back on the road? Like, I changed my life around to help people. I've given my life, I've started my own charity. People that know me, know me. Tired, tired, man. Brother, I opened up to this girl. I opened up to her, you know? Like, it's so, opened up to her, man. Some hackers sent her some stuff from my social media, it hacked into my stuff. Listen, Nikio, do you not have my Snapchat password, my Instagram password, and my email password? When she done the um, Instagram post saying that, yeah, we split up and whatnot. Remember, I cut, I flew out. We were talking behind the scenes. I was so cool with that. We were talking, we were flirting. She was like, when you fly back into London, um, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna go out. I was like, cool, let's do it. Yes, we were going through stuff. 
we was like, right, you know what? We're going through a rocky patch at this point. So we're gonna, we're gonna kind of keep everything off social media and working us behind the scenes. I was perfect with that. I was cool with that. Sometimes you need to take a step back to move forward. I get it. Listen, when I'm talking about three days before the court, three days before the court trial, yeah, this girl decides that she wants to break up officially. So I hit her up and I said, Raj, you know what? This looks a bit too tactical. Like it looks a bit tactical. It's like, it come that they, they, everyone just linked up and said, yeah, we're gonna do a PR and we're gonna try and destroy Terrell Lewis. You can't destroy people like me. <laughs> like, you can't destroy people like me. I'm from the road. All I know how to do is survive. You lot can type my name in Google, yeah? Sw swipe up, where is it? Swipe up, swipe down. Scroll down, you'll see Terrell Lewis, Red Ter Ter, bad stuff about me. Scroll down, you see good stuff about me on the same exact papers. Daily Mail, The Sun, Evening Standard, The Mirror, Metro. I've been on every single newspaper for the good work that I've done in my community. But you never mentioned that. You never mentioned that once. But you mentioned, oh, fuck. Fuck! You ready? Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? With what criminal record, fuck? They wanna pull us down, you know? They wanna pull us down as black people. Man is black and man is proud, man. I'm coming from the ghetto, yes, I'm coming from the hood. I'm trying to do better for my life. I'm trying to move forward. So, so disappointed. Fucking disappointed with this girl. Listen, everyone knows me to be so bubbly, vibes in, whatever. you. For all my people, all my fans and supporters that follow me on social media, you know how, how I am. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm jokey, I'm bubbly. The girl said I'm a violent person, bro. The recording, she recorded my voice and put me on the thing. Just imagine you're arguing with your siblings, yeah? You know, they're the ones that can affect, like, you know, little digs, they can affect you more. Like I said, I've given the key of my life, innit? So, for her to throw, she was throwing little digs in that, in that conversation. So yeah, it got me angry for that second. But you see, after that recording there, it calmed down and I did apologize. She never put that bit in. You never put that bit in, but you put this bit on YouTube. I'm a violent person. Nikia, when, I've, when have I ever been violent to you? Brothers, the family, the mum, the dad, they know I treat that girl like a queen. Never love me, which that girl never love me, man. She used me as a come up simple. But for you to say mental health issues, and I work with people with mental health issues, for you to say that about me, that's crazy. That's, that is mad. I'm starting to think there's something wrong with this girl. I don't think she just doesn't understand that where you, where you started as a person, where you are as a person now. Like I said, bro, uh, man's, come, man's coming from the bottom of the barrel, you know? Man is coming from the bottom of the barrel. I never had anything. Everything I have today is because man worked for it. Man, man, man sacrificed stuff. Man's um, flipping gone through stuff. Man's gone through barbed wire. Man's been cut. You know what I mean? Man's gone through so much to get to where man is today. For, for people to do videos like this, bro. For attention. I'm attention seeker. Look at this. That girl, I met her family, man. Like, her family's beautiful people. Don't get me wrong. Like, her family's beautiful. Like, I remember going to her house, man sitting around the table. You know what I mean? Man never grew up like that. Mm. Sitting around the table. So, let me pass the, uh, let me get some ketchup. Let me, let me, let me get more um, chicken. Man, no, no, man's not coming from that life, bro. I thought it was beautiful. And what I loved about the relationship that we had, that it was two worlds coming together. I'm coming from the road. She's coming from, you know, a good South African family, cultural background. I loved it. I loved the whole two. And it was different. Life's like a game, yeah? Some people's there with you for the whole game, but there are some people with you just to certain checkpoints, yeah? And Nikia has left my life at this checkpoint and I'm so glad that she has left my life because her true colours are shown there's a lot of stuff about our relationship that I don't want to talk about I'm only addressing this and it I can address so much stuff about my name ringing here and there I could address them right now but I'm only came on here to address that because for you to say something about mental health when I work with, uh, when I work with people with mental health for you to say that I'm violent and I've never been violent against you that's mad So where did that whole gun thing mad. come from? Gun! She said that she can imagine me coming around with a gun. Where? where? Like, you, you watch too much movies. This girl definitely watching the wire. You know, I go creeping around the back to the back window. I got the four or five on me, the big gun. Nikita is a very good actor. Like, 
Nikita can sit there and she can she can make herself cry. So when she start talking about yeah, my mum, uh, my mum and all this stuff that she loves my mum and all that, that, and then she start crying. I'm watching the screen. I'm like, wow. This is the kind of shit that I used to see when, like, like when we was doing, you know, when we used to do the vines together when we first linked up. Mm. I was thinking, right, this girl's a very good actress. She could make herself cry. She could do all that stuff. So when I'm watching the video, I'm thinking, Kia, this is not you. I, you're only fooling yourself. You're only doing this to yourself. You're fooling yourself because this is not you. Fake people. Fake, 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 fake people. Because everything about me is real. Everything about me is real. Yeah. I ain't even fucking brush my teeth yet. Do you know what? As soon as I saw the um, the video of my, my boys and people are calling me, I said, bro, do you know what? Just get me in front of a camera, please. I don't address shit, but I need to speak about this. I need to, I need to address something right now. I got something to say. Uh, I'm sorry if I keep touching it, yeah? But imagine, like, I never came from where I came from and I wasn't mentally strong. Do you know what social media could do to someone? The depressed, the, the depressed state that it could put me in. What I could do, I could go and commit suicide right now. I could, I would, how high we are? I could jump and die, right? Should I jump? No. And did you know what, yeah? Listen, anybody, I want to say this right now, yeah? Anybody that's getting cyber bullied, anybody that's going through anything with social media bullying or anyone going through depression, please, I just want to let you know that any, everything could be falling down around you. Life could be throwing so much bullshit at you, but it's not about what it throws at you. It's about how you deal with it. Yeah, please, if you're dealing with any shit, depression, all that stuff, you, I'm a, I'm a prime example of someone that I've got fucking cannons throwing at me. Boom, boom, boom. Everything coming at my life. It, like, it would look like life is just throwing the most shit at me. I am dealing with it. Yeah, let me get, let me get another one. That's it. I'm tired, blood. So fucking tired, man. Yeah, please, yeah. I'm so sorry if kids are watching this. Um, I'm so sorry for swearing. I'm just expressing myself right now. For, so for her to make a video like this, the acted, the little crying and... Closest people around you will hurt you. Real shit. She'll do everything for the camera. When the camera turns off, she's a different person. She's a different person. And that's why I stopped doing YouTube videos with her. It, was, it just started to feel forced. Forced, it started to feel fake. And me, I was always making up excuses for her in my mind saying, you know what? Maybe because she's from a different background. Maybe because I'm from this background. Maybe, you know what I mean? I started making up excuses for her. It was like my energy started to pick up certain things. I was like, I can't do YouTube. I can't force it. I can't be fake. I'm a vlogger. I vlog shit. I vlog real stuff. Boy, you know what? My, 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 my smile stay the same from when I was young to now. <laughs> when have I ever been violent to you? When have I ever been violent to you? Even that phone call, the recording, that she, she never put what was said after that when the conversation calmed down and we were cool. The girl is a master at manipulating people. She made a YouTube video and tried to throw me under the bus. So she says self-sabotage. Yeah, I'm self-sabotaging myself. But she done a YouTube video trying to sabotage my life. Um, sabotage my life. So like she done a YouTube video saying I'm violent. I try to keep her in a box that, you know what I mean, um, a mental illness. And I'm self trying to um, sabotage myself about I need help, that she hopes I find the help that I need. Mm. This is my name. This is my brand. I am a brand. All my community work that I do, my charity, everything that I do. What, what, what are you trying to do? You trying to like just wipe out my name? Oh no, it's, it, it just looks, it's looked very tactical. Everything was very tactical. I'm done speaking, man. I'm tired. You got, like, this is the last that you heard me speak about this. It's for those of you that don't know me, like you've probably made up your mind how you think I am. Listen, I'm a person, I'm a real person. Everything about me is real. I stand for what I believe in, even if I have to stand alone. I'm a flipping real person and yeah, I'm not going to be moved by bullshit over my name. I'm going to carry on moving forward. I'm going to stay focused and I'm going to continue to do the work that I do. Listen, I'm done speaking. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun 
in the sky You know how I feel Reeds drifting on by